So welcome back, my name is Vlad, this is Alpha Tech, and let's solve our previous uh, exercise that you should have tried solving on your own. And now, once you're done, let's do this exercise together. So first of all, what we need to do is to create some number, right? What we are checking is simply if a given number, if a given number is double digit, or if it, is it triple digit, triple digit, triple digit, or if a given number is neither of them, right? So that's what we want to check out. So for that, let's create our variable. And this variable is going to be, let's say, int num, okay? Now we are going to print nice message for the user to the screen. So please enter a number okay and now we are going to read this information using percentage d since we are uh, working with integers and store it inside the address of variable num okay good now once we have the variable num we should start thinking of what should be the conditions to print if it's a double digit triple digit or neither of them so one thing that you need to understand is that all the numbers, let's say we are even talking just about the positive numbers, okay? So it's going like this, one, two, three, so on and so forth. And there is a point when you reach 10 and then you go like 11, 12 and so on. And you reach 99, 99, then you have your 100, 101, and so on, up until 999, okay? And afterwards, you have 1000, 1001, and so on. So that's basically, if we take a look uh, at all the natural numbers from one up to, I don't know, up to very large numbers. And what what's special about it? If you take a look at, at this sequence of numbers, what can you conclude out of it? What can you see? What patterns are like, are visible for, for you? Maybe that's uh, basically that we are talking just about positive numbers and that's okay, okay, because we could also use negative numbers, but in this example, for simplicity, I would only use positive numbers. So the question here is, um, if we see 1, 2, 3, and then 10, 11, 12, da, 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 and so on, what you should notice is basically some condition that says if it's a two digits number, okay, if it's a two digit number, there are a couple of options, couple of conditions to check that. And the first condition is very simple. It goes like this. If num is greater than, than what? Think about it. Then 11 or 10, what should it be? If it's greater or equal to 10, or, right, or the logical operator or, or is it less than or equals to 99, then in this case, we can definitely say that this number is a double digit number, right? This number is a double digit, double, let's go like this, is a double digit number, right? So this number has two digits. And this condition is true because if the number and we know we work with integers is greater than 10 or equal to 10 or is less than or equal to 99, then it means it's in this range. Okay, so it's from 10 up to 99. And you can see that all the numbers here, all the integers, the natural numbers are from 10 up to 99. Okay, so that's one way to solve it. I, I'm not sure that I will show you all the ways, but let's just proceed with this exercise. Else, okay, else, else if, what is the second thing that we need to check? If it's a triple digit, right? So if the number is greater or equals to a hundred, right? The first leftmost, let's say, uh, smallest three, triple digit number or the number is less than or equals to, to what? To a thousand or to 999. So since we are using 
this equality sign, we should take just 999. So if that's the range, in this case, we should simply print that this number is a triple digit number. So triple digit number. Awesome. But if it was not uh, in, in this range from 10 up to 99, and also it was not in the range from 100 up to 999, then in this case, what should we do? What should we do, guys? Should we print some last message or, or and I'm just, I'm just giving you some time to think about it, is this condition okay? Is this logical operator is okay? I mean, if you didn't stop to think about it, at least for a moment, if this condition is okay or not, then probably you have, um, you have to change a little bit your attitude for these exercises in this course. Because a lot of things that I say, you don't have, not, neither uh, the things that I say and nor the things that your teacher says, don't take everything just as granted, okay? Think about it. Think about what I've written here. Because I've made some mistake here and I've used the logical operator OR, okay? And I just went with the exercises, everything okay? So basically that's not okay. And why is that? What will be the case and what will be printed if we simply received here, for example, let's say num equals to five. Okay, so num equals to five. So if num is greater or equals to 10, this is false, or num is less than or equal to 99. This will be probably true, right? Because five is less than or equal to 99. Then in this case, we will have this number is a double digit number. We will have this, this message printed to the screen. That's not the case. That's not what we want since we know this number is one digit. And also what will be the case for 1005? We will see that this condition happens to be true, right? But it's it shouldn't be true because we should not let 1005 be printed as a double digit number because that's not the case. So pay close attention to what you are being taught and always be kind of curious about whether what you've heard is true or maybe the teacher has done some mistake, sometimes on purpose, sometimes not on purpose. So what, my, what I suggest you is simply uh, always be uh, very like very paying attention. And here, if we go back to the exercise, what we need to do is to kind of make sure that um, um, basically, uh, previously, if we take a look, num is greater or equals to 10, it goes like from 10 to all the numbers on its right. If it will be either of these numbers, the condition will return true. And also, if it will be less than 99, up to whatever numbers will come, even if they will be negative, it will be also true. So what we want to do is to limit the range from 10 to 99, just this uh, range. And that's something you can do by using the logical AND operator. So the number should be great or equal to 10. And also, it should be less than or equal to a 99. So that's how you change it. That's how you pay attention to the small details. And that's basically the difference in the uh, exercise and in the solution. So we can say uh, that um, um, that uh, that's the first the first section. That's the first section of the two digit numbers. That's the second section of the three digits number. And finally, we will say that if it's not in this section, and also it's not in this section, then we definitely can print the following line. So printf, uh, what was it? Uh, neither this number is neither, let's say double digit, nor triple digit, All right? Digit. Okay, so it may be less than 10, and also it may be greater than a thousand, okay, greater or equal to a thousand. So that's basically how we solve this exercise. And let's build and run it to see that everything is working as expected. So please enter a number, what was it, 22. So this number is a double digit number, 
let's enter the next one let's enter 101 triple digit and also let's use it with 5 so this number is neither double digit nor triple digit and finally let's use I don't know something like this so this also not uh, a digit uh, a, a, a double digit nor triple g digit number so I think this condition is very simple to find the section that you are interested in also you may also find if it's this number uh, consists just of one digit the, the condition is going to be pretty much the same and yeah basically this is it for this kind of solution but of course there are also additional solutions where you can use um, just the um, just using the division operation and dividing your number for example by 10 okay and if you're getting some result that is in some reasonable range that you, then you can assume that your number is a double digit number or if you divide it by a hundred and then you receive some value which is in the range from uh, from 1 to 9 then you can assume that this number is a triple digit but that's a whole different condition and that's basically a different program both of them will work but this was just the first option you can try the second option on your own and yeah this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching keep on practicing and I will see you in the next videos